Hi, Josh Apple here with the Raspberry Golf Academy. Today I'm at Virginia Golf Center and I'm going to talk about how to control trajectory. This time of year with all the wind, it's really important to be able to hit shots different heights and today I'm going to show you how to do that. There are many ways to control trajectory, but many people aren't aware of what the number one cause actually is. A lot of people think that your setup would be the number one cause of controlling trajectory, such as playing it back in your stance. That would make the ball go lower, just like playing it forward to make the ball go higher. But the number one influencer of controlling your trajectory is actually your swing speed. The club head speed makes the ball go higher or lower. The harder you swing, the higher it goes. The slower, smoother you swing, the lower it goes. The reason for this is, at faster swing speeds, you generate more spin, and that gets the ball to launch up higher in the air. At slower swing speeds, you don't have as much spin, and the ball doesn't climb up in the air. It stays pretty flat. That's why juniors and senior golfers tend to hit the ball much lower in rolling because they don't have the swing speed and the spin to get it up high versus someone who swings really hard like a Dustin Johnson hits it way up in the air due to higher swing speed and more spin. So let me demonstrate this for you now. This first swing I'm going to do for you will be at a slower swing speed so the ball should come off flatter and not climb because it doesn't have as much spin. I'll demonstrate that now. At that speed, the ball was very flat and didn't climb. Like I said before, that's the swing you often see from seniors or junior golfers that don't have the swing speed to get the ball to launch up in the air, but it's also a really useful tool for anybody to get the ball to launch lower, especially in windy conditions. Now I'm going to swing a little faster and the ball will go a little higher. I added a little bit of speed and now the ball came out at a mid trajectory. First one was low, that one was mid, which is a great shot again for windy conditions. Now I'm going to demonstrate high, which is max swing speed. That one I went after as hard as I could, it launched much higher, and that would be a great shot for downwind, maybe not something you want to use into the wind. It's also important to note that these shots will also change your carry number. Your shot will fly further at the high swing speed, high shot, and your shot will carry much shorter at the low swing speed, low shot. So now you have a high shot that maxes out your distance, a medium shot that's in the middle, and a low shot that is a shorter carry. So keep that in mind when you're doing these shots. Now if you need to go extremely low, such as punching a shot under the tree, you would add the slow swing speed to now the change in the setup I mentioned in the very beginning. The combination of the two would create a much lower shot and it would look something like this ball back in my stance now with a slow swing speed and that created a really low shot that would punch under a tree again that's more for extreme circumstances i'm josh apple and that's your tip of the day